Shabbat Shalom and welcome to Thought for Shabbat. So glad that you're here. This week's Torah portion is my favorite. Okay, people think I say that every week, but this one truly is, and I'm going to tell you why. Because in it, we have the story of Jacob. In the previous Torah portion, Jacob dreams of this ladder with angels going up and down the ladder, and he says, gee, this is uh, none other than the abode of God. This place is holy. Um, the next, the next tar portion is one in which Jacob is going to see Esau for the first time. And Jacob is scared out of his mind because last time Esau saw him after Jacob had tricked his brother to get the blessing instead of Esau, Esau says, Jacob, I'm going to kill you the next time I see you. So Jacob is all fraught. Jacob lived kind of a troubled life until he started to kind of improve upon his life, uh, treating his wife with honor and dignity, treating his father-in-law with honor and dignity. And then, and then he falls asleep the night before he's to meet Esau, and an angel wrestles with him. People argue about what that angel was. Was it his conscience? Was it actually an angel? Or was it all of the above? Was it his inner thoughts? What was going on? Needless to say, he comes out of that dream a changed man. And the Torah tells us, your name shall no longer be Jacob, but Israel, Israel, because you have struggled with beings divine and human and have prevailed. You know this quote because it's on our sanctuary, because I believe, I believe that it is the paradigm of what being Jewish is all about. It's not being dogmatic and say, this is the only way I believe. But rather, we wrestle every day with everything that goes on in our lives. And as long as we do it with integrity, with thoughtfulness, with kindness, we come out on the other end having prevailed, both with human beings and our struggles with God. So to be part of the people Israel means we are people who who really take seriously the idea of our place in the world and figure out, oftentimes through wrestling matches, how to get there. I invite you to do the same every time you walk into our sanctuary and see those words on the wall. Friends, join us tonight for services at 7 o'clock. We'll look forward to celebrating with you and sharing with you uh, a wonderful Shabbat that is greatly needed by us all. Have a great week. We'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.